Good. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Since uh, my students are asking about some catch wrestling and how to be heavy, and it's important, even some of you great jujitsu guys out there, you don't really know how to be heavy or how to grind on people. You know, in the dojo, depending on the etiquette of that school, you should follow. Okay, but it's also good to train with more like-minded people like myself that are interested in self-defense, that are interested in competition, no-gi competition, taking it to the highest level, um, and MMA. Some of this you can get away with MMA, some of the pressure point stuff is not allowed in MMA, but it's helpful at times, which I'll talk a little bit about. Okay, so standing up, you can even be in here, you know, on a, on a, on a, here we're wrestling, grab my head, we're wrestling in here a little bit. And, you know, we're moving around, you're looking for your throws, your takedowns and stuff, you can take a jaw popper right there. Okay, you can add a lot of pressure just by gable gripping the guy and going behind his head. Okay, most people don't know how to take this. And this comes from my training with various catch wrestlers over the years. I started with Dan Severn back in, in 1997, guys. I did some judo and a lot of martial arts before that. I was already a black belt. Um, you know, as well as learning Gracie Jiu Jitsu and other stuff at the same time. And now I train with Gene LaBelle and Gokar Shibichi and stuff. Put it you know, down with the guard. Yeah. So, guard, you can do the same thing. Usually I'm in here with my elbows tight because that stops all his hip movement and I need to get some bicep control and I look to hit from there. I even have a position where I cross my ankles, but that's for another time for a serious ground and pound. Okay? But I could also be heavy in riding the guy with my knees are always up in the pocket, if that's important. Um, I could be in here sitting on his legs. This is a good position to strike from and a grind head, and I can jaw pop it from it. If he, if he has his ankles, try and cross your ankles, okay, and he's, he's um, you know, I, I can lock it down on him here, and I'm controlling this man in here, pushing him against the cage sometimes. Uh, also, especially, you'd be driving in the guy, making him heavy, uh, heavy chest and, and tiring him out. See, he's already breathing heavy just because of, I'm off of my knees. So that's a catch wrestling way of kind of dealing with the guard. You can be up in this kind of squatted knee position, or you can even be in a full tripod up, pop-up pass and stuff like that. But a lot of times we'll sit in here. You'll see Severn does this even at, at over 50 years old to a lot of guys that beats him up. Cross your ankles. Cross your ear. Okay, here you can still do the jaw pop there. Drive. Your head under there, rotate him up, and drive. You're putting a frame behind him, pushing up, and using your leg power. So it's really hard to stop. Okay? You okay? Yeah. Cross your ankles. From inside the guard, too. Now you're putting pressure on the guy, and you're elbowing him, and you're hammer fisting him, hitting deep. Sistema style, I have videos on that, how to hit the body deep. Get your ankles up high, cross up high. Okay, here, he's gonna stop liking me being up here. Maybe I'm way up here and I'm doing chicken wing elbows to the side of his head. Stuff that most people don't think about in the ground and pump, guys, is available, and pressure points as well. Maybe I start playing with pressure points behind the ear. Go up the ear, he doesn't like that one. Illegal in the UFC now, but it's not you're really gonna see your chin. A good ref will eventually start catching it, like Herb Dean or whatever. But, you know, it's competition, guys. You know, I, I always thought going to the eye was definitely a no-no, even though it happened in my fight, even though they won the two-time NCAA champ wrestler I had my first fight against eight times in the rules meeting not to do it. He still did, did it. I think that's cheap, but, you know, a little grinding with elbow tips and chin. That's just wrestling, guys. That happens all the time in wrestling. Okay, so cross your ankles. You're going to be in here. And you can be going in. This one, he's, he's very tolerant to. He has a high pain tolerance. That's what I'm using. But there's one here. The pressure goes to the either back of the head where guys start to ball or top of the forehead. This one goes to the top of the forehead of the angle. The one in the cheek goes to the back of the head there. There's one under the mandible, under the jaw here, so you can grind in there. And you, mostly I use my chin in there and there. And then he's going to push me away with his guard because he doesn't like that. So if I'm here, press your ankles and push me backwards with you, you extend your leg. See, that's the jujitsu defense, get it, the guy off of you. So the guy's gonna try and do that. Well, here's a little trick Dan Severn taught, and that's illegal on UFC now. If I'm up on you, try and push me away. Push me away, you don't like that, do you? The harder he pushes away, the more he's ripping off his collarbone. I can grab my meat hooks in there, just little fingertips, and drive them in to his collarbone. Now this stuff might be important. Don't do this young kids, be, you know, be careful. But I'm talking to adults here. 
You know, a lot of people online, we're talking self-defense. You can latch on to the collarbone. That's a trick Dan Severn was teaching me. I used to teach combat wrestling for Dan Severn way back in the day. Guys, I've trained a lot of UFC guys and Pride Stars and been in Japan. and I've trained a lot of people. Not everyone knows my background. Okay, so you can be heavy in the guard. You can even tripod up, cross your guard. You realize it. Okay, I can tripod up here, way in a full tripod, and push pressure with my head and grind them, especially if we're against the cage. And push my head in and, and be hitting him while we're in here and be driving elbows back into his leg and be coming over the top with elbows here, here, hammer fist, hammer fist, making his life fun. Okay, and then I'm going to look to pass. And then a half guard, I'm going to grind him. I'm going to hit him with shoulder punches. I'm going to grind the guy and be heavy. Catch wrestling is about heavy. And then I pass. And I'm still grinding him. Even though he has this underhook. Is he going to shuck with this, this near side underhook? No, because I'm going to be heavy on his neck. And that's going to stop him from, from going out the back door that way. Okay, because I know that that would be the escape. I'm going to ride heavy on his chest and go to here. Guys, just talking about heaviness. I'm going to push my weight down into him. One inch on the side of the spine. Everyone teaches the spine. You actually want to go one inch to the near side towards you of the spine and then go down and through like a CPR compression. You don't just want this. You want to go down and through and be driving into him and pin him. So not this heavy with my weight where I can get rolled, but on the near side and driving in, driving in, weight off your knees, pushing in, side up heavy, heavy, grinding on my guy, heavy. Heavy. Sitting out on the guy, Casey the Tommy, okay, with under the arm. I usually use this more than just head and arm, okay, but heavy here, off your knees, grinding your ribs and his ribs. Or sometimes I go to like the Tito Ortiz position, and but I can still lift my hip off the mat, trying to go low. And look at my hip a second in here. See, instead of resting on the mat, I can still lift my hip up and be driving in him and be hitting this man and be looking for key locks, switching back and forth between sit out and regular side mount and stepping over and, mount, and side mount triangles, you okay? Yeah. I'll give you a second, I'll break a second. Okay, um, so being being heavy, I like under the arm here, you know, even in this position here, and you're looking for this stuff, I'm still riding him with my ribs. And now we're talking separations with the legs and stuff. Now we're talking submissions with the legs, and I'm still riding him heavy, look at my weight, not too heavy, I mean not too high, but I'm still heavy with my weight. And meanwhile, guys, I could probably tap out a lot of, you know, decent grapplers, some ranked grapplers, just with form across the neck, either locking down one-handed, or better yet, gable grip, or Gene LaBelle three-finger grip, and dropping my weight on the floor. I could tap out a lot of people just with form from side mount, half guard, maybe even guard. Okay, so again, here, you can lock down one handed guys, it makes people uncomfortable. You want the tap, you could probably get a gable or three finger grip. Okay, drop your hips, drop your weight, and drive into him. Drive into him. You can lift that elbow up and drive at a different angle if you want, or straight down. Inside the guard. Can you take one more of this? Yeah. Put me in your guard. I'm gonna ride up here. I, I don't always reach around the head. Um, guys, that's somewhat dangerous, but you can try to put, out, put pressure with your with your head like I talked about before. But I will do this. Uh, not, not when someone obviously can't handle it. But if you're going against top guys and fighters, that's a different story. Cross your legs. Okay, so we're in here. What's important is not to have my elbow where you can push my elbow across and get an arm triangle. Okay, so whenever you put a forearm on the neck, even just locking down a grind on the guy, you keep your elbow pointed to the mat on the other side. And then I can rock my weight in and tap him out with my wrist, the blade of my forearm on his, uh, on his throat. Okay, you can elbow the legs, you can be heavy, you can elbow this way, elbow the ribs that way. Okay, it's, 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 there's a lot you can do that people aren't doing both from a self-defense perspective and a mixed martial arts perspective. They're playing jujitsu when it goes to the ground. You're not playing, you want to beat the guy down. You want to be heavy and you want to grind up. Okay. Um, uh, can I tell me? Yeah, like yeah. Sometimes I'll go with like big guys and big stuntmen and stuff. And maybe they they try to like neck crank me and stuff like this. 
They try to lift my head up. So I try to lift my head up. When a guy does this, guys, then if he's doing heavy power move stuff, then I just put my thumbs on his armpits. Okay? Then there's pressure points in there, and his power is going to actually go away. I can, I can wait it out and tough it out and breathe and relax. Even if I just go light, sometimes I go just for a second and I let the guy know it's there. Or if the guy starts playing pressure points with me, I'm like, well, I know that's stuff too. I'm going to try and like lift my head or submit me, try and grind on me. See, I'll just go whatever here and go maybe a lockdown and double thumbs in the armpits. He's got nothing. Same thing if a guy tries to snake choke me. Go in here and try to really make and choke my throat. Here's a snake choke. I'll go in the armpits here. Just put, put that thumb in the armpit. He doesn't like that. His power goes away. He lets go. Maybe I sweep him. Okay, so I use that a lot. So when a guy's grinding on you, you don't got to go heavy. You know, go and let him know a little bit. Pressure points in there. So pressure points can be helpful. They don't all work. The one here on the cheek doesn't work good on him. The one hand here really does. The one other jaw really does. But I've, I've met quite a few people that this one doesn't work so good on certain people with their um, cheek structure. Um, but the riding, being heavy, even in north south, all the positions you want to be, you want to be heavy. You want to be in here. In the catch wrestling style, is not going to be on your knees resting. You're going to be driving on the balls of your feet. You see how I like to finish arm triangle. If you look at my videos, I'm on the balls of my feet, driving forward for more power. I'm going to grind on this guy and look for submissions this way. Okay, just by being heavy, he's going to give up stuff and be out of position. Has it been fun being on bottom during this video? Sure. Talk to the camera a little bit. <laughs> but, but it's nasty, right? Most people, you've, you've grappled with some people. It doesn't feel the same as when I'm actually being heavy on you, does it? Are most people heavy? Yeah. Well, not when I'm so. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people, even like blue belts, purple belts, even the jujitsu guys, they're not heavy, guys. I'm just showing you some stuff by, let me, this, I'm going to grapple with you a minute. Let's go, let's go live for like... Just a minute. Okay. We we'll grab on him and make his life kind of hell. We go on his floor. Oh, okay. Now we're in here. Now I'm pushing him. See, I'm still. I'm like driving him, driving him, driving him. I'm still in here. Okay, there's my chest. I'm driving him. My hips are not there. I'm pushing him. I'm lifting his head. I'm making my felt whole thing for the crucifix. So, yeah, here's your foot. And now I'm in here and I catch people up. Reverse toe hold. Keep on. I'm in here, I'm still heavy, here's my crucifix here, and I'm going to drive his face down. And then I do downward elbows, and then I do rear elbows and downward elbows, and cover his mouth. Keep going. Good. I'm going to ride it more south now. I'm going to grind my hip into his face. And then I go, and then I do it. Turn the train. And then I hop off and I drift forward on my balls and my feet, okay? Driving in, I'm not low. Trying to gently choke this man. I'm driving in, pushing in. On my, on my toes, guys. Learn some wrestling if you can. Even if you're an adult, learn some wrestling basics. Watch some John Smith uh, instructionals. Being off your knees, being heavy, driving on the balls of your feet, having heavy hips, driving your hips in, grinding the guy. Okay, so this is a new perspective. I don't always take it this heavy, this hard on guys, but guys, I've always had it. I started with Dan Sever, and then I mixed in the gentle stuff too, and you blend them together. So that's kind of more the heavy catch wrestling way of doing things, and just keep it in mind. You don't always got to grind on a guy, but it's good to know, because you get a bigger, stronger, maybe roided up dude who's just squeezing your head all the time. I'll just go and lock down, thumbs in the armpits. Sweep him, then I'm trying triangle him kind of hard and let him know like I have power too just because I'm playing gentle doesn't mean that I don't so Be heavy. Hopefully this helped you a little bit learning how to be off your knees and on the balls of your feet and grinding All right. Thanks. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Please subscribe to my YouTube page Dan the Wolfman 1 and a shout out to uh, Elite Trend Apparel for hooking up the shirt Rock for Silvering and uh, find them on Facebook and that's it. Thanks, guys.